Good morning. We are on the uh, 37 Axo Par. Doing a little sheep try. We have Holly here. Things pretty nicely equipped. Here we have a forward and uh, ankle upper. A little tiny windlass. Everything is very, very light, very, very thin, so it's a lightweight, lightweight boat. The hinges are steel, they might rust down the road. It's a little, uh, well, a little simple. The hinges are top mounted. This is, uh, it looks like teak is not teak, it's an artificial teak. Harley said um, the product is going to change to uh, like a light gray color. This material uh, tends to overheat. Here we have a little uh, little hatch area. Let's see if I can open this here. You know, I'll put the camera down. Here, roll forward hatch. That leads to a nice size cabin. Uses for storage too, I guess. Yeah. What windship is all right? I guess it's the value for the money you're getting here. So you know, there's a very low freeboard. I'm standing here. That's uh, not even up, up to my knees here. So it might not be a very dry boat. I'm walking ar around here to the back. High seating area. These um, front seats turn around. Bunch of hatches. See if we can open them here. And a light vest. Battery switches are open. I would like to see a hatch, a little cover there, but they're open. We will pull out refrigerator. This teak apparently, uh, the new boats has a, uh, a wooden top. So we will take a look at that in another moment. I'm walking to the back here. Twin uh, Mercury four strokes. Nicely painted in the same color as the boat. So we're missing uh, obviously here some sort of uh, gate. Holly said the uh, new boats are going to have uh, a gate in this area. Little drain here, storage. There's no gas lift here, so it falls down. Cute little cleats. Big sound system here, JL Audios. Oh, I go by a dredging drain. Uh, I'm here this morning. A lot of construction going on. I was at that house where uh, the dredging was done. So they usually do this before the city comes and catches them, doing some bad stuff. Oh. Look at the uh, rear hatch here. I can open it. So here we see a battery charger. See, you see the whole corrosion here, so apparently it's not very dry or unventilated. Same thing, I wish the gas would be stainless. Here we see the Yeah, you can go, you can go ahead. Yeah, 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 there, there's Harley. Hey guys. Harley, yeah, Harley's our captain this morning. He's gonna run this boat for us. So he's asking for permission to leave the dock. So he has a tight schedule. It's early, 7.30 this morning to get this all done. Cause Harley sells these boats like fresh cut bread. Okay, so here's obviously a, a wet bar, cutting board, sink. Is there an option for a grill, Harley, over here? Yes, the grill. Yeah. 
Uh, we can either do a grill from the factory, uh -huh. which will run off uh, shore power, or yeah. we can do the grill tied into the inverter system. Okay. And it's an induction grill, goes right there. Um, I've also done an ice maker on this side, yeah. which would we take out that drawer and put okay. a Vichy Frigo ice maker in here. Yeah. Uh, this this little fridge is standard with the wet bar option. Okay. And you have you have also you have also on this side storage. Okay. okay that's a little. That's some beer left. Okay. You've got to have a beer. Very good. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay. Now we put the starboard side. Here we have uh, a little breaker box. And that looks like uh, an amplifier. A little wet in here. I notice that all these little areas are. Yeah, up clear. All a little wet. The engines are very quiet, as you can notice. I don't know what is it. And it uh, swings back and forth. So we're leaving the dock now. Pretty nice home here, so the owner must do well. And there he comes. So the boats are being made in. Uh, they're being made in Finland, right? Poland. Fin Poland. They make them in Poland. Augusta, Poland. Oh, I see. The company okay. is Finnish. Yes. Building boats in Poland. Uh huh. It's a big boat factory. They build many brands there. Oh, I see. Galleon, okay. Chaparral. Oh, I build, see. They built some sea rays there. Oh, I see. It's a so, big factory. so basically, you can bring your plans and stuff, and they build any boat you want. Almost like in them. Taiwan. Like in Taiwan, exactly. you go to a boat builder and they build the boat you a, want. There's five or six or seven brands of boats being built there. Oh, I see. So it's busy, busy. The, uh, whole, the whole village. The whole village lives of it. Yeah. They all inhale fiberglass fumes. <laughs> oh, here's another boat storage area. And like on the other side, let's hold some fenders, some storage underneath the seats. So the seats here, Holly, they, the whole thing swings around or they individually Yeah, these, swing? these all twist around. I'll show you when we get back. So you yeah. can sit at the table. Okay. And then in, you notice the storage in the bottom there. Yes. The storage comes all the way to here. Yes. So if you wanted to put some rod, rod racks down there and lock right. them, you can do that. I'm putting dive tank holders in one of the next boats. Yeah. Um, so there's quite a bit of storage. Those hoses you saw, those are all gone now. As I said, this was a prototype. Okay. So that's all, right. all cleaned up in there. It's, it's much So better. the other one is in Dania, so I could take a look at that at the yeah, latest Yeah, please version. go there. Yeah. Please go there today yeah. or tomorrow. Yeah, right. And you'll see we've got two boats, two or three boats here being being rigged. Oh, okay. Okay, so here. And, then, and I think I told you, we, we do all the mercury pre-rigging at the factory. Yes. And we buy the engines here in Wisconsin. And we do the mercury installation here with... The, the electronics are being 